Next, Justine will demonstrate doffing PPE, uh, showing a preservation of the N95. There are two methods for doffing that are approved by the CDC. One is to remove the gloves first, and then the gown, and then the other is to remove the gown and gloves together. If you have a cloth gown, you have to remove the gown, the gloves first. Back of her gown is not contaminated. Carefully roll it inside out and roll it up and drop it in the trash. Or if it was a cloth one, you would drop it in a hand. If you're rolling it up, keep it away from your body. Careful not to touch the outside. Next, Justine will use hand hygiene, lean forward, and carefully remove her eye shield. This is a disposable eye shield which can go in the trash. If it was a reusable goggle, it would be dropped into a decontamination bucket to be decontaminated later for reuse. Next, she will use hand hygiene and prepare to remove her mask. At this point, she contemplates whether the mask had been grossly contaminated during her procedure, whether there had been an aerosolizing procedure that um, is not considered uh, aerosolizing if you're getting a specimen collection, but if you were doing a bronchoscopy, in which case you would throw it out, um, or if there was an encounter with a patient with a co-infection, such as MRSA. In those cases, you would discard the mask and start with a new one. In this case, a simple um, specimen collection, she's going to lean forward and grab the, the strap in the back of her neck first, the rationale being that if you only have one strap on it, we'll keep it in the right position and won't we'll go forward. Next, she will grab the, the strap at the top of her head, pulling the mask out and away from her body. Then she will place it in the paper bag that she has already marked with her name on it. This will be placed in a location for an additional use.